Greetings fellow PC Gen enthusiasts. This is Andrew, one of the PC Gen data monkeys, here to teach you how to do your own homebrew setup. I'm going to assume for the purposes of this tutorial that you have already located and gotten yourself your own uh, text editor. We have several on our wiki site that you can look through if you so desire. I'm pulling that up right now for you. Um, where you basically just grab a text editor that you want to use. I use Edit Plus for myself, but you can use any number of editors. So I'm not endorsing nor uh, condoning any different various. You just find one that works for you and go to town. Okay, to set up your own homebrew additions to the program, you're going to need you to find your installation program folder for PC Gen. If you're using Windows, we do not recommend the typical location of the program files or whatever derivative there may be, as it gives us uh, access issues and security problems. So uh, we do recommend a different location for PC Gen. Once you find your PC Gen, there is going to be usually subfolders of PC Gen installs with the version numbers. Uh, in this case, I would probably be having PC Gen. 60105 um, but for other people it's probably going to be 600 or whatever inside the folder <coughs> you're going to find these these different folders in here now my my installation setup here is a little bit different from everyone else's because I do work in our main trunk repo and do live testing uh, as we change things However, we just need you to navigate down to your data folder. If you're using the older versions, your homebrew folder will be right there near the top. And inside here would be a folder called My Campaign and then My Pathfinder Campaign. However, we've reorganized things to do game mode folders instead. So we have the homebrew now in 3.5e and Pathfinder. And I've already got the PCC files open. The PCC file is the central location that tells PC Gen what files to load. So you find your PCC file. This is the only full program or the only file type that PC Gen actually recognizes. Uh, the list files and anything else it ignores completely. The PCC file it will go in there and it will load the files that are referenced down here. And you can see we have different categories of files. We'll get to that in a second. The main components of your PCC file is the campaign name. The campaign name uh, is either you can name it your campaign or it's the book that you are coding up. Um, the player's handbook, the dungeon master's guide, whatever you want to be coding up you just give it a unique name here. The game mode uh, determines what game modes this PCC file will be found under. Um, 3.5e is the obvious one here, and the other one I have here, Pathfinder, um, because certain rules will not work in certain game modes. So we want to be able to differentiate that. Hashtags. If you use a hashtag, that becomes what we call a comment line. In my highlighter here, you can see that this turns um, this green across the board. This is where you can make any comments that you want. Hashtags are completely ignored in PC Gen. You can have as many of these guys as you want, and it will not affect the program whatsoever. Anything that does not have a hashtag needs to be a legal uh, tag or name or something that's recognized in PC Gen. So continue on campaign is the book name or your campaign name. The game mode is what you're going to be uh, working under. And then we actually have the type. The type is when you're using the advanced selection screen for selecting, there is a tree view. And the tree view will display up to three tiers. So you have your first tier, which would be the homebrew. And then un under the homebrew, you'd have the my campaign. And then you can add a third tier right there. And then this campaign, my campaign, would fall under third. So this is an organizational tool uh, to make files easier to organize for yourself. Publisher name, 
long, short, and all that stuff is for when you're doing book sources. The source should correlate with what you have up here. That's the full book name, a book abbreviation if you want one, and a source page. If anything doesn't apply, just hashtag it out. <coughs> that tells PC Gen to ignore it. Coming down here, we have the various files that PC Gen recognizes. Now we organize our files into groups to make things easier on us. Each file has specific tags that will work in it. For the PCC file, it just tells it what the name of the, the file is. And you'll notice that we always follow a standardization here. You want to be able to recognize what a file you're loading is going to be about. So my abilities, my ability categories, my armor proficiencies, etc. We prefer the .lst format. You can make these text files, you can name them whatever you want. It will, it will recognize it. But for our, our standards, it's LST. Abilities is where we do our class abilities, features, traits, um, racial abilities, etc., etc. This is what falls under the, op, or, um, the output sheets, under your special qualities, special attacks, and any other uh, fancy boxes that we display a lot of information. Ability category is where we house both the master abilities, the special ability, internal, etc., and then our subcategories or child categories, which are also referenced by ability pool. Uh, that's your fighter feeds, your wizard feeds, um, your archetypes, that sort of thing would go there. We have the proficiency file types for armor, shields, and weapons. Basically, if you're going to reference a, a proficiency, that's where the proficiencies would be named. Continuing on, bio settings is for racial, uh, height, weight, age uh, determinations, that sort of thing. Uh, that's very optional there. You don't need to use that unless you so desire. Classes where we house our base classes, prestige classes, and monster hit die rolls. The campaign modification files is where we house the familiar special mount and animal companion rules. So when your character levels up, this is what actually modifies your, your companion. Deity is where we house the deity names and um, any information about a specific deity. Domains is where we hold the cleric domains, and if you're in Pathfinder, this is expanded into druid domains. Um, Inquisitors, though they do get domains, they don't access the domains here directly. They're set up a little bit differently, but that would be an advanced class. Equipment is anything equipment related. Weapons, armor, miscellaneous uh, gear that your character wants to carry around. Equipment modification is anything that modifies that equipment. This is where you would have your plus one flaming longsword uh, uh, information. Feats are just as the, the name. These are where we put the feats that you see in the books. A kit is a starting package for characters. Like if you want to race uh, default, this is where we would put those together. Languages are pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, self this is where you just put in the names of the languages and what they what they're for races are where we house anything that has to deal with a race that includes your player character races as well as your monster races skills and spells are pretty much self self-explanatory as well that's where you put your skill name and what they what they do your spells uh, information and then templates is where you would do things like your half dragon half celestial werewolf etc etc so once again, this is the PCC file. This is loaded up uh, initially by PC Gen. It's uh, searched. Anything you modify in here after the program is open will not be recognized until you restart the program. So that's just uh, information to, to be had. Our next video, we're going to go along and teach you how to implement simple things into your own game. Thank you for watching and tune in next time.